this is a casual experience. However, um, you know, I don't think I can highlight that game just because it's so long, even though it was pretty cool. What's going on here? Stuff. Okay, yeah. I've got three, four opening, and I am looking an ICD. Transmogrify for trashing. Um... They don't. Yeah, uh, Montebank is cool. I like half kind of want to like <laughs> with my three get expedition just so I can draw like seven cards next turn. Um, but I don't know if that's a good idea. That's definitely Maybe. not a good idea. <laughs> Do you know why? Uh, oh, we're playing with shelters, which is awful. Um, or not, but probably awful. So crossroads is probably less great. Um, so I think I want. Silver or storeroom for my three. Why would storeroom you want the storeroom? Cause, cause I, yeah, I can discard these gross cards for something useful. Um, I don't think the storeroom is very good. No? Maybe I should have gotten silver? I think you should have gotten the silver. And then for four. There's something clearly better than everything else here. Montebank? Uh, you're very close. I mean, for this turn. I mean, yes, Montebank is by far the most important card on the board. For this turn, I was deciding between Militia and Transmogrify. You should not get either of those. Really? Yes. Okay. Because um, you can get a Montebank. Although, it begins with an O instead of an M. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> I should get an Overlord so I can do whatever I want. So you can use it as Maltebank. Okay, this is going to be the turn. This is going to be the game where I learn how to play Overlord. All right, Adam. Oh, here's how you play Overlord. You buy it on turn two. <laughs> That's like most of Overlord. I mean the. Why do you do that, right? Because there's some $5 card that you want to open with, and now you can open with it. Now, not all fivers are good for that, because if it just makes you money, you just put yourself in a bunch of debt, and there wasn't any point, right? But if it's like a trashing card or an attack card or something like that, then yes, you just do it without thinking. Also, I don't think Storm does much in this deck. That's fair. You're probably right. I'm going to guess. What fibers just make you money, though? So I'm thinking stuff like Market and Minion and, and that kind of thing. Like, you want a lot of Minions, right? But Overlord, as Minion, like, you're going to play it as a Silver for a few shuffles, right? So, like, you don't want to open Overlord to get it as Minion. Like, that's... When I say something like, you should get an Overlord on... On turn two, all of the time, you can't say that because it's not always true, right? And you can't even say you should get an overlord if there's a good fiver on turn two. You can't say that either. I mean, you can. You just be wrong and misleading, and I don't want to do that. Uh, expedition better than silver here? I don't think so. It's like transmogrify is normally a good card, but the shelters kind of crap all over that. Yeah. You can make them into coppers, I guess. Terrible. I mean, it's better than shelters, but uh, I should have expeditioned. Gross. Wondering Wonder says all the time equals like eighty percent of the time. I was kind of hoping that like I'd I'd see one of my Mountie and Overlord on this hand, the other on Mountie and of Overlord next hand, and then I would be able to shuffle them both back in. But instead, they're going to collide next turn, and I can't play the I can play the Overlord as Transmogrify, but I will never see it again. So. I won't be doing that. Um, should I buy an actual Montebank, or should I buy another Overlord? Uh, gold is a pretty good card. Which it's either that or Montebank. Overlord or Montebank? Uh, I don't. I don't think you need another Overlord here. Like Montebank is just definitely better than Overlord because you're going to be playing Overlord as Montebank most of the time, so you might as well mm -hmm. not take the debt, and you still have the flexibility of the Overlord you already have. 
So, like, True. definitely not Overlord. Between Mountebank and Gold, I think it's close, and I would probably get the Mountebank. Uh, so, one time Warrens don't do Bomb as Transmogrify, or Overlord as Transmogrify. That is great. It's normally really bad to do that. Uh, uh, I don't think you... There's no great way to get rid of the shit in my hand. What is the best way to get rid of the shit in my hand? I think Transmogrify or Militia are both reasonable here. Also silver. Just buy all the silver. Well, silver's a good mm -hmm. card. I mean, this is a money deck, and you want silver. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to leverage Transmogrify as much as I would like. I need better trashing. Oh no, look at those curses. Coming. Transmogrify's fine here. It's a state trashing in a money game. So, like, it's good. Transmogrify is, like, never clearly bad, I don't think. Just because it does something at the start of your hand. In almost any game I can think of, like... You can find some use for Transmogrify. Now, that doesn't make it worth picking up. Like, it's slow. And it's kind of limited in what it can do, but still. It's a good card. I'm going to get a gold. But it's not estate trashing because of the shelters, right? Well, yeah, what I meant when I said estate trashing was shelter trashing. Because in money, like, that's all you care about. I have $5. Yeah. Look at me. I'm so good at Dominion. I kind of want to get a Transmogrify with it, but I feel like it's a little late for that. I think I'm just going to get a Band of Misfits. I already have two, quote, Mountebank, end quotes. Maybe I just want another Mountie. Yeah, I'll get the, I'll get the stupid Mountebank. It's fine. Don't sound so thrilled, Adam. Or you could Throne Bomb as a reserve if you want to get really... <laughs> I have a feeling the Overlord rule is like, get it when there's a fiver on the board that would really benefit you to have in your second shuffle rather than later. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And that's usually trashing and attacks. Usually. But yeah, that's the guideline, right? If you really want it on turn 3 or turn 4, then you should do it. Right? I, I don't know. If I Overlord as bomb as something, I know that used to be bugged. I don't. I think they fixed that, right? I think that's been fixed. I'm not positive. I want to say that's been fixed. Mm, I'm just going to draw more cards. No, I don't know. Do I want to draw more cards? Uh, well, if you if you get Expedition here, you're going to make what's in the bottom of that miss the shuffle. Do you know what's what those five cards are? No. Is your Mount Banker Overlord in there? No. Then so. Expedition's probably good. I could be wrong. Okay. I think I would have gotten Expedition there. Do I want Hunting Grounds ever for the draw? Like, plus four cards is a lot of cards. Hunting Grounds is really good, but you have a lot of cards, like, that are terminal. Yeah, so but I, I was going to get Crossroads for action. I don't think Crossroads is good here. No. Well, there's no actions here, so I don't know what to do. Um, Correct. I guess get a gold. This is just Excellent. Money, all the money. Excellent choice. I think that was the best thing you could have done. And then I'm just going to get another gold. It's really tempting to get frisky and play Necro Storeroom and pitch these coppers, but I have a feeling this is better. Do you know why I don't think Crossroads is good here? Why not? Do you know? There's no green. Like, it's Crossroads is better when you don't start with shelters, I think. And Correct. Start with shelters, that's less helpful. And but I was literally even, only even with this... Sorry, what? I was only looking at it for the actions, but even with the shelters, you were saying? Uh, if there were estates here, I still think Crossroads wouldn't be good. Yeah. Do you know why? Okay. I'm just going to do this thing. I'm 
money, and then I'm going to be sad. And then I'm going to expedition and be sad. I'm, I think I'm just going to be sad this whole game. Is that okay with you, Adam? I mean, if you looked at this board... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason I don't like Crossroads is because it's only good if you can use it to play multiple terminals in a turn, right? And I just don't think you can line up your business here. That's fair. Wandering Winder says it in a different way. Uh, he says, you don't have high enough action density to use the actions effectively. Too much of your deck is purple and yellow. I said, you can't line up your business, and that's basically what I was saying. Uh... Um, what you got going on there, friend? Sorry, I'm just trying to decide what I should do with my storeroom that I never should have bought. Um, Play it? <laughs> question mark? What's that? Play it? Maybe? What you got in hand? I have a storeroom of gold and two coppers, so I'd have five if I ignore the storeroom. Probably five even if I didn't ignore the storeroom. But if I played it and drew, drew for cards, I might end up drawing something that I don't want as a terminal. Uh, well, I mean, it's no worse than copper other than that you've cycled and potentially missed a good card. It doesn't hurt this hand to play the storeroom, although you're greening and cycling while you're greening. I don't know. I don't think it matters all that much. I don't really think you're going to hit province okay. on this hand. That worked out better. Two buys and six. What do I do? By the way, that? is transmog and curses into coppers worth the four dollars one buy here? Uh, if there was an overlord around, I would have opened transmogrify and hoped to high roll and hit Mounty anyway. I would have opened transmog um, silver. However, with overlord around, I just don't think you can justify picking up transmog early enough to make it worth it. Hey, Shayla, one day can you like maybe not block every single Mountain Bank I ever play? Thanks, I bro. feel like that means I'm losing because I have enough curses to block every single Montebank. You have playing. three curses. I want to give you more than three curses. <gasps> gotcha. There you go. Bro. Um, right back at you, I guess. Hey! Uh, hey! Uh, even though I have like the same turn, I'm still whining about it. <laughs> going real well <laughs> wow that's actually really unfortunate for you i mean it's at the top of your shuffle which is nice but it's just unfortunate that like all your money bunched up there you're unlikely to have more province hands this shuffle which is great Damn for me you, Adam. can't believe you militiaed me it's rough i can do i go duchy i feel like i have to go duchy you definitely get a duchy you're probably not shuffling before this game is over yeah let's go duchy like, it's either that or Expedition, and I, uh... You got this! Uh... Maybe Expedition would have been better there, actually. I think you should buy the last curse, Adam. Ooh, good call. <laughs> wow, a lot of text from one another. It's only good if you can use it to play multiple actions. In order to do that, you need at least two other actions in the same hand as it. Given that you're only having five-card hands here, in order to get that, you need, like, half your deck to be actions. This is a mathy description, but I think it's going to be accurate. Uh, I win by getting that province, so we'll expedition. Uh, but, and not only can you not realistically get, get half your deck to be there with the junk, but also if you think about what you need to get there, you have to buy a lot of actions, so you have a lot more terminal collision when you don't get the crossroads. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of crossroads, and yeah, it's no bueno. I'm pretty sure you've won this game, Adam. I agree. Uh, let's do this. Yep. GG. GG. That went quicker. Like, our first game was eight times longer than that. That was incredible. Agreed. <laughs> oh uh, my god, Neil! This is such a great hurt. 